Microsoft's first party lineup hasn't been doing so hot in recent years. Heck, 2019 didn't even have many noteworthy first party titles. However, that's set to change from this year onwards. The company has armed itself with a bevy of studios, interesting indie titles. Let's take a look at 15 Xbox One X console exclusives to look forward to in 2020. Grounded. It's Honey I Shrunk the Kids meets survival sandbox gameplay with co-op support. You'll collect resources, craft different equipment, and ultimately battle giant bugs. Halo Infinite. The big one, Halo Infinite is 343 Industries' next big leap for the franchise. Supporting Xbox Series X, but still set to be released for Xbox One in Q4 2020, the title utilizes a new engine called Slipspace. The spotlight is back on Master Chief and seemingly takes place on a new Halo world. Your guess is as good as ours regarding sandbox and multiplayer changes. However, there's no denying that the Chief's return will be a welcome one. Gears Tactics Cross XCOM with the Gears of War series and you'll get Gears Tactics, a turn-based strategy title with cover mechanics, giant bosses like the Corpser, and much more. Promising a campaign of 40 hours as players customize and journey with their squad to defeat the Locust, Gears Tactics should serve as a strong strategy spinoff. It's out on April 28th for PC, but is expected to come to Xbox One as well, ideally this year. Bleeding Edge Sinua's Saga Hellblade 2 is sadly exclusive to Xbox Series X, but Ninja Theory fans will still have Bleeding Edge to keep them busy. The team-based multiplayer beat-em-up offers some solid melee combat across unique environments, each packed with their own hazards. And of course, each of the 12 fighters fits into a different class, whether it's Cass, the bird-like hybrid assassin, or Makudu, the heavy tank. Bleeding Edge is out on March 24th. Ori in the Will of the Wisps If you even have a passing interest in Metroidvania titles, platformers, or just all-around stunning games, Ori in the Will of the Wisps is for you. Venturing outside of the forest, Ori takes up new challenges, battles new bosses, gains new abilities, and uses the shard system for new upgrades. Despite its numerous delays, Ori in the Will of the Wisps should be worth the wait when it arrives on March 11th. 12 Minutes Taking place in a single apartment over the course of 12 minutes, Louis Antonio's adventure game sees players caught in a time loop. How do you prevent your wife's death? Why is she accused of murdering an officer's father? Is there a way out? Depending on one's choices, the story will change, but failure could result in the same 12 minutes playing out all over again. Employing a Kubrick-esque aesthetic and taking inspiration from the likes of Memento, 12 minutes is slated to release later this year. The Artful Escape Beethoven and Dinosaur's dreamlike platformer The Artful Escape recently re-emerged at XO19 and will be heading to Xbox One along with iOS and PC. As such, the spiritual journey of Francis Vendetti as he traverses a wistful landscape is as visually arresting as it is musically catchy. It's out later this year and could serve as a nice alternative for Wandersong fans. You know who you are. Microsoft Flight Simulator Microsoft's highly realistic flight title returns with Flight Simulator, offering gorgeous textures, real-time weather, and a vast world to explore. Best suited for flight sticks on PC, Flight Simulator will still be coming to Xbox One this year, offering the perfect chance to traverse the globe via aircraft. And naturally, it will look incredible on Xbox One with support for 4K and HDR. Session Indie skateboarding title Session is already available on Steam Early Access, but will be coming to Xbox One, ideally this year. Eschewing any kind of scoring, Session is about exploring New York and its locales, filming one's sessions while editing them together into a sick montage. Though the lack of fixed objectives may bother some, Session should scratch that itch that skate fans have been having over the years. Way to the Woods Side-scrolling adventure titles with stunning visuals may never go out of style, especially if games like Ways to the Woods continue to be made. Developed by a sole developer, Anthony Tan, the title sees a pair of deer traveling a barren world, doing their best to survive. You'll meet both friendly and hostile creatures while exploring the mystery behind the disappearance of humans. Ways to the Woods is out later this year. Tell Me Why 
Don't Nod Entertainment's Tell Me Why is another narrative adventure thriller in the vein of Life is Strange. However, its story is wholly standalone, focusing on twins Allison and Tyler as they return to their hometown in Alaska. Players will move back and forth between the twins, exploring their different perspectives and memories of the past. Which version will you believe over its three episodes? We'll find out when Tell Me Why launches in 2020. Everwild Rare's newest single-player IP in seemingly forever, Everwild is an action-adventure title in a fantasy world. Magic, along with exotic flora and fauna, coexist in a uniquely pleasant balance. What do you actually do in Everwild, though? Neither Rare nor Microsoft has said much, but it's coming to Xbox One and could have co-op. Hopefully, we'll see more of it this year. Playground Games AAA RPG Playground Games' next big title, which is rumored to be Fable 4, has been in development for a while. When will we get an announcement drop? Will it arrive this year? It seems likely, though it wouldn't be strange for it to be exclusive to the Xbox Series X either. Hopefully the stars align and it somehow launches alongside the console while also being cross-gen like Halo Infinite. The Initiative's New Game the newest title from The Initiative, Microsoft Studio consisting of veterans from BioWare, Naughty Dog, Insomniac, and more, is an interesting case. Design director Drew Murray revealed in October of 2019 that it was being playtested, but that this wasn't an indication of the game releasing anytime soon. To have it officially announced and released within a year? It wouldn't be impossible, but given Microsoft's plans for 2020, it is still a big toss-up. Forza Motorsport 8 Turn 10 Studios confirmed last month that it was working on the newest Forza Motorsport. Though touting a bunch of new systems for atmospheric pressure, suspension, etc., the developer said it was, overall, so vastly a different and an amazing experience. More details are coming this year, and there's hope that it will be a cross-gen title. Time will tell, and an announcement this year almost guarantees a release by fall season. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.